Welcome to Art of Illusion. To start with, I will now just select Control B. So with Control B, I divide the screen into two. The next thing I will do is to go to Scene, Read, and set that to 0 0.2. And right here, click on Show Grid. Now we select this uh, very tool, okay, and draw right there. So about let's see about that, because I intend to create what is what you guys would call, or if you want, I'm gonna call it coffee table. There, I think that should be about right anyway. So the next thing I'll do is just to reduce the size this very size maybe take these to about two make that two and make the size here two and make this uh, maybe uh, I think maybe I should just do it here just take it down to about that so let's say 2.5 or point two five right there that looks yeah that looks perfectly fine okay if you look at the camera right here camera one okay you can just rotate it so that you guys can see that you the rotation too that's it right there okay I can even maybe select it and just move it up use the selection tool just uh, move just move it up yep that's fine for now okay and the next thing I'll do now is just to draw the legs of the coffee table so click on that and just sort of like draw a funny shape yes yeah, that's fine as a leg depending on what you want to use so I use this uh, two or use the other one right here okay so I don't want to use the cylinder too of already selected the cube tool that's a cube tool right there so I think that will be fine yeah that'll be alright as the legs so let's just see move it up yeah so I need three more of those so I'm gonna right click on it copy it now right click again paste there it is so what I will do next is move it to the top okay make sure you select the move to right here that's it and then you can just use your up arrow and just move it up so that's the very first cube right there this very cube was the second one make sure the move is selected as well and just take it down there we go so now since I've copied the cube before then just paste and move this to the top just to make the legs of the coffee table take it up now I'm going to paste it again paste mm -hmm one more time that will be my next one you can use the, the mouse to do that moving you can just uh, position it properly using your arrow keys so if we go into the camera view you can just select the rotation and just rotate and see what you've done so far that is the coffee table Okay. So use the the wheel, your mouse wheel to zoom in. That's my coffee table now, right there. If you like, you can choose to unite it, or you can just copy it all. I'm not going to bother myself uniting it all. That'll be another tutorial. Okay. So what I'll do next is just add another platform here so I'll use this same cube to form a clip platform here okay that's my platform right there I'm just gonna draw it right here 
see how wide it is that's my platform right there the camera view here let me just change that to maybe 17 17.25 and uh, maybe these two let's change that to about 11 okay that's it so if I go to my camera view let's just press ctrl B there you can see it's like this coffee table let me zoom back and the coffee table is right dead in the center so the next thing I will do is actually select this coffee, coffee table and just uh, make duplicate out of it there so right click since all the coffee table all the object are selected copy and uh, maybe I should move this out of the way first before I start pasting just move this somewhere no I think I must have copied it all I just want one hold down the shift key yeah okay now let's copy that control let's copy that now let's move this away there let's move it to one angle right there now the copied one right click and paste that's two maybe move this here we'll take it back up right that's good now paste the other one wherever you want maybe here and take it up take it up let's use the arrow key to move it yep move it this way and down a little bit take it up maybe one more and that's it that's how I created the previous lighting tutorial with all of all of the coffee tables so those are the coffee table the coffee table is now in position but uh, seems yeah okay this angle is now good enough so let's move that in and just position it well there now we died so that you guys see how it looks like for now I've set that to 1500 by 1000 and that's just how it looks right now it's a bit plain there's nothing so the next thing I will do is just to add some effect to these uh, tables and the floor itself so let's close that so all of the tables let's go to the scene and create a texture and material I'm not just going to bother I might as well just select something from here that's the wood um, from the library let's see I think this this can do it yeah marble oh, no sorry it's not marble maple okay I'm going to select that just drag it drop it in the current okay that's it right there so click on ok so for the floor there um, I still haven't made up my mind but uh, the first thing I'll do is let me just select all of the all of my cubes select all of the cubes and just let's see which cube number is this that's uh, cube 10 I don't want to select cube 10 so cube 10 has to be deselected select it all now come to cube 10 right here and deselect that so where is it the fourth texture just come in there and select the marble so that's it the marble is there now for cube 10 which is uh, the floor I'm going to find a way to make up something beautiful for the floor so if I decide to render right now this is what this is how it's looking so I just want to render it properly so that uh, it looks like 
the previous one back to the scene and just try to see what we can add to the wood let me come here that's for the floor the wooden floor I would like it to look a little bit brownish if I just select this dump, dump it in there okay so let's click on edit and that is all of my combination for that wood let me click on there on color function here double click on it that's the color I have in there but I want to change it to something a little bit reddish let's look for something reddish where do I go here or there or something a bit a little bit darker mm. okay I click on let, let me cancel it first okay let's click on ok once it's selected let me I might as well accept it to run compile the program and see how it looks like for now okay the setting seems a little bit fine so we take that up so you can see the floor and the table sort of like look alike but I don't want that so what I'll do is let me add some light in here let's add more light in more light effect maybe one camera here and another one here maybe some more light and render it again and you guys see that with the aid of the lighting system you can see the beauty of what we've put together so far and that's how you create a, a coffee table on a floor so if you just uh, let's move this around first seems I might have too much light but I think with the aid of light it makes it look much 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 better I think to render it again I might not be following some principle of lighting here but guess what it is beautiful alright that's how you create coffee tables okay I'm just going to call this bye for now.